after the latest Chinese fighter, the J-10D variant, was first revealed online in mid-July, another photo of this advanced fighter surfaced on Chinese social media. The new photo is much clearer than the first one, confirming more details of the J-10D. It is believed that the J-10D could be the last J-10 variant. A few major differences can be seen when comparing the J-10D and J-10C. The D model clearly has an enlarged spine compartment above the fuselage and closely resembles the latest F-16 variants. This compartment would house more equipment and devices and possibly a small amount of jet fuel. However, some other changes previously reported have proven to be wrong. The D model does not have a single piece canopy and its main wing is still the same as before. Looking at the new spine, its size is fairly large and will be able to house part of the electronic systems. That means space in the J-10DS nose and fuselage can be freed up for other purposes. The spine does not increase drag by much, and the impact on radar reflective signal strength is minimal. The added part will help the J-10D to improve avionics capacity on what is already highly sophisticated on the C model. The J-10C has a totally overhauled sensor suite or electronic warfare equipment compared with the J-10A. The canopy was rumored to be similar to the F-16 single-piece design but the new photo shows it is actually the same as older J-10 models. If the J-10D adopts the single-piece canopy, the radar reflection signal will be reduced. Some analysts believe it is not necessary to put effort into stealth design, as the J-10 will never become a true stealth fighter, and minor improvements will not translate into meaningful results. The new photo still does not show any conformal fuel tanks. The latest F-16 models carry conformal tanks to improve range. Unfortunately, the main wing is not what was reported earlier to have a brand design. It is just like the J-10A and J-10C. That means this D model has about the same flight performance as the J-10C. Some argue that there is no reason to invest in improving the J-10's aerodynamic performance significantly. Similar to the stealth topic, the J-10 will never become a fighter that flies much better in combat. The investment is better placed on building more J-20 stealth fighters as well as pushing the medium-sized J-35 project forward. It is highly likely that much of the J-10C equipment has been carried over to the J-10D. The J-10C is already equipped with one of the best active electronic scan array radars in China, and the J-10D could have an upgraded version. The photos show some electronic warfare antennas are the same between the C model and the D model. The new diverter-less supersonic inlet stays the same in the J-10D. This J-10D carries a flight data recording device, which is similar to the ones in the U.S. Air Force and Navy. The device proves that this fighter jet could be a prototype or demonstrator. Some online sources claim the fighter could be demonstrating new designs to potential foreign buyers, such as the Pakistani Air Force. It is also reported that the manufacturer of the J-10 and J-20 fighters, Chengdu Aviation Industry, is handing over the J-10 production to another organization. This is to free up Chengdu to focus on the J-20 stealth fighter and the coming sixth-generation fighter. The new manufacturer is believed to be the Gizhu Aviation Industry, which has been producing much older designs of military aircraft, such as two-seat J-7 trainers, a variant of the MiG-21 fighter jet. But this transition is believed to be slow, as the Gizhu aviation industry struggles to adapt to the modern process of producing the J-10 fighters. Overall, the J-10D fighter design still shows some improvement and could receive orders from the Chinese military in the future or be the blueprint for upgrading the J-10 fighters already in service. This helps the Chinese military to have a healthy combination of a few types of fighter jets, with the J-20 as the spearhead of air combat forces and the J-10, J-11, and J-16 in supporting roles. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.